Okay, so if you did everything correctly, you must have your 12 screws in place and one hole must be left, that's for the shielding, also with this one. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. And then you can reinstall the plastic cover, just again snap it with your fingers and it must match the hole in here and in here and then you can install the last two screws which go in here and they just lock the plastic part in place that's one and that's two there we go it's always a marvel to see how well engineered the PlayStation is. So now it's a matter of personal preference whether you want to reinstall the hard drive now or later on. I usually do it at the last thing because I don't want the hard drive to get any shock. Okay, so now we can start to reinstall the Blu-ray drive. So we can take our Blu-ray drive nice and clean and start by putting it back in place then now what we need to be just careful about all the connections which we need to restore so the first thing we need to do is to put back the uh, screw which was hidden if you remember below the gray cable below the power cable Okay, so that's one screw here and there we go. Then we can basically reconnect the Blu-ray drive and reinstall the ribbon cable which was put this way, if you remember. So again the snap fit connectors and the power cable which will need to go through the respective guides so here we go there is a there are some black plastic uh, thermal stringent um, covers which will need to go where basically the plastic clips are for guiding the cable in the right place and so here we go and we connect the power to the blue drive blu-ray drive back with this connector here this is the power to the blu-ray and it just goes down like this then we can also reinstall the antenna at least the connection to the antenna which goes uh, i think it is this way there we go and the cable goes, uh, it was down here, and then it goes down here, there's passage here, and then it snaps through these two metal clips, and it goes back into its connector. I will show you how it is placed. Now this one is again a tricky one because of its placement ah, come on you will need to match it precisely to fit it back but then you just press down and it will be okay so the length must be proper so i think we can pull this one slightly back okay so just to show you you start by installing the antenna, then you have this plastic clip here which guides the antenna, then it goes down here and just below a plastic clip and then you have two metal rings, two metal clips here and here which make the cable go through an S, there's also padding here and then you have the connector which goes back here. Uh, now the last item will be the last piece will be the Blu-ray drive connector. Just again push down, insert on this side until you reach the black line 
and same goes for the other side just push down and push the connector inside the slot okay so now if I didn't forget anything we will be just left with the power supply to connect and you should have only the screws for the power supply the external chassis and this small screw which is a Philips head which goes on the front and the blu-ray drive don't forget about this one so now we just reconnect the screw and there we go and then we are ready to install the power supply back with its connector okay so now we connect back the power supply connector on the motherboard make sure that it's fit and then we turn around the power supply unit and snap it back in place just by feeling that the two blade connectors are inserted into the sockets then you just put the screws back in place and you start screwing back okay so now you should have all the screws in place that's one two three four five six the one hidden seven torque screw the small Phillips head screw and the two Phillips head screws for the power supply unit. Now you're all set for reinstalling the back plate. You just slide it over on the antenna side. It should fit in and then you pop it into place and you are ready to put the four screws which just lock the two uh, shells, the plastic shells, into place. And now all screws are in place, the four screws, black screws which go on directly on the chassis, and now we can reinstall the hard drive. And there we go. And once we have locked our driving place with a screw we are pretty much done since we are just missing the front plastic plate never put too much force torque on the screws since it's not like a structural piece you just need to tighten them to the point where they offer some resistance then you snap back the plastic cover on you can give it a nice clean and there we go we have completely reassembled our classic ps4 and replaced the thermal paste so now it's ready for gaming and hope you found the video useful so subscribe if you like this video and leave your comments below thanks for watching bye guys